This is my music clock. As you can see, there's a LCD display showing the time. There's a earphone jack. This is one of those jacks where it can detect whether or not a earphone's been plugged in and disable the speaker accordingly. This is an infrared receiver because it uses an infrared remote. On one side, there's a speaker. On the other side, there's a holder for a micro SD card where your music is stored. And on the back is the power supply plug and a switch. And it's made out of one of these spark funge shipping boxes, which looks kind of nice. It'll do everything you expect it to do. Play. Pause. Play. Next. Previous. Volume. Mute. On mute. Open the menu and you can choose the play mode, normal, which goes through all the songs. There's play only once, shuffle, loop, normal. You can change the time display mode, AM, PM, or 24 hours. If you turn on AM, PM, you get a little display that says AM when it's morning, PM when it's in the afternoon. And current time, current day, and every day of the week can have its own individual alarm setting. And you can specify a individual music files you want to play during that alarm. So you can have one song for Monday, another song for Tuesday. That's taken care of by just placing, naming the files on your micro SD card. That's pretty much it for a function. To, it works with really any remote because when you make this, you have to figure out the codes stored in the remote first and then program them in. So. I can basically buy any remote, reprogram it, and assign each button to a command. There's a real-time clock chip in there, so if I turn off the power, turn it back on, it'll still know the time, instead of that annoying flashing 12 o'clock stuff when your power goes out for cheap alarm clocks. The micro SD card is here and it's hot insertable. If it's missing and you try to play something, it'll just say micro SD card error. As soon as you plug it back in, they'll open the first song and you can just start playing the song again. In my Instructable, I actually built this with a Teensy++, which also gave it USB mass storage capability, but inside this box is an Atmega 644, which does not have built-in USB, so I took away that option. But if you read my Instructable, I actually show you how to make this so that you can load the song directly through USB instead of taking the card out. Cut it out while it's playing, it'll tell you there. I've set the alarm for 4.45, but this time, there's actually the file it's supposed to play is missing, so it has a default alarm. The VS10 something something line of MP3 decoders, they have this test mode where it'll just output a sine wave. And if the file it's supposed to play for the alarm is missing, it'll just do that test. So you get this really annoying sign sound.
Oh, uh, I thought it would be louder. But yeah, that's the alarm. Hope you can hear it. I can. And to deactivate the alarm, just press any button that I press volume up and now the alarm's gone. 